What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go over a overview of how to get the biggest discount when buying your new BMW. Now this doesn't have to necessarily be a BMW. It could be any car that you're looking at purchasing um, and it could be any any series of car that you're looking at. Now every dealer is going to work a little bit differently but I've worked in the car industry. I've sold cars. Uh, I'm in sales now so I've learned a lot of tricks over the years of what, what, what actually works and I want to share those tips with you guys going forward so that you can get the best price uh, on either a purchase or a lease on your next upcoming car. So let's go and get started. All right, so first thing, once you figured out which car that you wanna purchase, um, start selecting your packages, what you're looking at. So obviously, as you guys know, I purchased a 2020 BMW M340i. Um, now, obviously, when you're looking at cars that are brand new, new models or something like that that just came out, they're a little bit harder to, to get discounts on. I bought this back in December, um, and at the time there wasn't a ton of M340s out there, so dealers weren't discounting much um, off the units. Now, another thing to keep in mind is also rebates. So once you've got an idea of an all around ballpark MSRP, now it's time to start shopping. So one of the things that we're gonna start doing is you're gonna go on to dealers' websites within your local area first, um, it's easy for me, I'm here in Dallas, so we have tons of dealerships in a, a short radius, you know, just within probably 30 miles, there's three BMW dealerships here, and then I can go out to like Austin or even further um, for, for bigger discounts. So um, that's one of the things that you're gonna get started with. Now, once you've got your main dealerships, start browsing the website, see if there are options out there for the exact model that you're looking for. Um, you know, if, if you're flexible on color, you know, that's fine, but see if they have exactly what you're looking for once you have that now here's the key no phone calls right so you don't call any of these dealerships um, you can call them really quick just to see if the unit's still available but email is going to be the tactic uh, going forward with this one so now once you have the unit that you have selected you're going to send in an email request to a salesperson and the first thing that you're going to let them know is hey i'm in the market for such car this is what i'm looking for i need your best out the door price on this on this unit now if you're trying to lease it it's going to be a little bit different of a, a strategy you're more of a payment buyer in that scenario than you are going to be uh, overall price of the vehicle and that'll come into play and we'll talk about that a little bit towards the end but um, if you are purchasing the vehicle obviously we're looking just for the biggest discount off of MSRP if we're a lease buyer like I am we are looking to get the the best overall payment with the least amount of money down so once you have in mind what you're looking to do, whether you're looking to lease or whether you're looking to buy the car, then you're gonna submit the request for exactly what you're looking for. So for instance, if you guys aren't familiar with lease options, leasing is a great alternative if you like um, luxury cars or you like switching out of cars more frequently like myself. Um, I hardly ever keep cars much longer than a year. I actually love BMW leases because they're the most flexible financial company out there. With their lease options, you're able to put the car on, let's say, lease trader um, and have somebody acquire your lease, take over your lease, um, instead of having to take a negative hit on the car. So if you get a really good lease payment, um, people are definitely more enticed to acquire your lease. And then you walk away scot-free, not having to spend any money on negative equity or anything like that. They get a new car, newer to them, uh, and then you can go acquire your next vehicle. And so. I, I don't drive very many miles. I drive less than probably 8,000 miles per year. So leasing just works best for me. And now everybody's gonna have their own opinion, leasing versus purchasing, but that's for a different video. So once you have what you're looking to do, if you're a lease buyer, uh, you're looking for the best overall payment with least amount of money down. So in my scenario, I definitely wanted to be under $600 a month for my payment with no money out of pocket. Okay, so a lot of times leases, especially BMW leases, it's a couple thousand dollars. Usually the advertised lease special, let's say it's $599 a month, usually it's gonna require $4,500 in down payment. Now, not a lot of people wanna put that money down and I definitely don't recommend putting large lump sums of cash down on a lease because if you do wreck the vehicle, that money is lost um, as far as that goes. Really the, the, the money for down payment is only affecting the actual payment itself. So. Um, least amount of money down is, is what we're looking for. So once you have an idea of 
what you're looking for for the lease payment. I definitely look for, I would recommend going to Lease Hacker. Um, that's a great website tool to, to let you know whether or not you're getting a good deal. You can put in all the specs information. Each state is gonna work differently on leases. Texas, they do something weird with the, with the overall sales tax. Instead of just taxing the lease, it's tax on the overall MSRP of the vehicle. So just keep that in mind too. Each state will be different. Uh, and if you are leasing, you gotta check with the dealer to see what the incentives are or check through the manufacturer's website. When you go to like, let's say BMW, you're gonna go to bmw.com, go to the USA BMW, and then you'll look at the lease offers or the purchase offers and what the specials are. You'll see what the rebates are right there. And this is another important key tactic because some dealers, especially with BMW, they don't have to give you um, the rebates if you don't ask for them. And they actually get to keep that money in the into their pockets. Um, so make sure you know your rebates going in and we'll talk about that in just a second about uh, my experience with that. So you're gonna submit the request once you've done your, your research on what you think uh, an actual good payment is on the car that you're looking at. You're gonna submit to the dealer. Don't tell them what your overall price is. Just say, I want your best overall price on such and such car that you have on your lot. Uh, I don't wanna put any money down and then know your credit score going into this because you gotta know which level of tier that you fall into. Now, over 700, you're you're pretty good on a lease or a purchase. You're normally gonna get one of the best rates, uh, but realistically to know for sure, a 760 uh, is gonna get you the overall best tier for the most part. Now, BMW has even higher tiers than that, but 760 going into it, you're, you're, in, a, you're in a good position starting out. Now, once you submit the email request, what you're gonna do is wait for them to respond. They're gonna say, hey, um, that car is available. They'll use whatever sales tactic it is. Normally, they're gonna try to get you to set an appointment or ask for your phone number. Just say, I only am, am looking to deal over email. If we can come to terms, uh, I will come in at such and such time. I'm looking to purchase within the next 30 days. Now, I will tell you going into this, the best time to do this is at the end of the month. Now try to time it so that you give yourself a couple days of negotiations because it will take a couple days um so probably five days before the last day of the month and i would close the final deal either the day before or the final day of the month the dealers are much more um up to negotiate with you uh going into that because they're trying to meet quotas for the month or bonuses and, and so on and so forth so know that as well now, once that dealer gives you their best quote, such and said best quote, um, usually there's much more room to go from there. Uh, they'll give you the best quote. Now what you're gonna do is go to the next dealership um, that's closest, find the car, exact same car. Try to measure MSRP as close to possible. Now you have to be super realistic with this. It's gotta be apples to apples. It can't be apples to oranges. You can't expect to get the same payment on a car that has a $4,000 more MSRP, um, whether you want the options or not. So try to be as, as close to MSRP as possible. Um, and then from there, there's two strategies to do this. You can either submit it, and when you submit it to the dealer, do the same process, asking them for the best price, or you can give them a screenshot of what the dealer's offered. You can say, hey, I'm looking at this specific car, specific model. I would like to purchase it or lease it. This is what this dealership has offered me. Uh, what can you do for me on this vehicle to buy from you instead? They'll email you back. Every dealership is gonna be competitive and try to and try to beat that quote. And then from there, you're just gonna keep working it with another dealership until you get to your final overall pricing. Now, like I said, you've gotta be patient. It will take a couple days. Um, it's not a one day kind of thing. These dealerships are a little bit slow to respond sometimes. And it's not necessarily their fault. It's however you submit the lead. Sometimes it takes a little bit for them to actually get the lead. So, you're just gonna compete back and forth, back and forth with the dealership until you've acquired the best, closest price you can. Once you've acquired the best overall price, you're gonna go back to the original dealer or go back to the closest car um, that meets your specifications for what you're looking for and the car that you really want and just say, here's my overall best deal that I've gotten from a dealership. I wanna be at such and such payment or I wanna be at such and such price out the door. Um, this will work differently, obviously, if you are 
if you have a trade so that's a different scenario this is this is mainly advice for if you don't um, you can definitely work a trade in your benefit but a lot of times it's much easier just to sell your car to um, Carvana or vroom.com I've sold multiple cards to Carvana. It's much easier in, in the strategies because dealerships will try to, you know, f fix the numbers where they try to show you more for your trade than what they're actually giving you, um, creating you to purchase the car for hire. So giving you an idea of exactly how I purchased my car, this is the same scenario that I did. Um, end of the year is always the best time to do it and then towards the end of the month. So I sent all my requests to the dealerships. My payments, my lease payments started as high as mid sevens so they were talking seven thousand dollars or excuse me they were talking seven hundred dollars a month for the payment with around three to four thousand dollars down now i never run my credit until i'm doing final numbers so i just tell them what tier i am credit tier i am um usually they're just gonna assume best um, best tier credit anyway when they're figuring the numbers so you can just let them know ahead of time if you're trying to be realistic with your overall payment or your credit score lies and say I need a realistic idea for my credit tier so I emailed all the requests like I said started at over $700 a month for the payment with I think it was $4,000 out of pocket um, my end final deal once I once I negotiated down and told them exactly where they were at my end final deal, so my MSRP on my car, I don't know if you can see that, was 58,945 on my 2020 BMW M340i sedan. So with all my options, it was $58,945. The dealership gave me over $6,000 off MSRP. And then from the $6,000, there was also an additional $1,000 um, rebate, but also there was an additional $1,000 that they didn't tell me about that I already knew about. The additional $1,000 was a least competitive um, rebate. So the rebate basically said, if you, if you or somebody in your household currently has a competitor lease, so like if you're leasing any other brand manufacturer, you're getting an additional $1,000. Now they were trying to not give me that additional incentive and keep an extra $1,000 in their pocket, but I already knew that going in. Um, so I negotiated my extra $1,000 into that. And I walked out of the dealership at a $590 a month payment um, with no money out of pocket. And then on top of that, I got everything included. So full prepaid maintenance, everything for the full term of my lease. Now I'm on a 10,000 mile a year lease, so I get 30,000 miles and it's a three year term, uh, $590 a month. And I don't have to pay for anything. It's the, it's the the bigger package for maintenance. So I don't even have to cover brakes. My brakes are covered. Um, my oil changes everything maintenance is maintenance free for the full term of my lease which is a fantastic uh, thing about bmw so definitely try to get those extra things added now my credit score dropped right before i went in because we were trying to we were trying to acquire and purchase a house so i had ran my credit a couple times so my credit score was right under the credit tier for the 720 mark um and that was the the a a tier tier 1a um and so my payment could have been lower it could have been more i think the the final payment would have been in the 560 range 565 or 569 a month um if my credit tier was higher so that going in like i said you got to make sure you know what your credit score is the credit tiers will matter on that um but I ended up purchasing this $58,000 car for around 50,000 after rebates. Um, and that's one of the key factors when doing this. So I hope this helps you guys out uh, when you're looking to get your dream car or just a fun car to drive around. I've purchased probably over 20 cars in my lifetime. I've leased cars, I've purchased cars. Um, it's all about finding out what's right for you. You know, a purchase may be better for somebody than a lease and vice versa. Um, for me, I use it as business tax write-offs for the lease purposes because the taxes are already assumed into the payment. Um, but just know what you're looking for when you're going into it. Be very um, forward and upfront with the dealership with what you're looking to achieve and then negotiate, negotiate, negotiate the whole time. And then 
once you get your final payment, wait, like, like I said, we'll just wait until towards the last day of the month and the dealership, and then you can ask for a little bit more uh, because they are gonna wanna finalize that deal. And just use that as an incentive. Hey, I will close um, at the end of the month if we can get this deal done. Um, so hope this helps out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. If this video helped you out at all, please smash that like button. It definitely helps with the YouTube algorithm and I look forward to doing some more content. If you guys are waiting for new content on the M340, it's coming very soon. I'm sorry it's been delayed. I've been running into issues with um, tuning on my car as well as manufacturers not having stuff because of um, what's going on in the world right now. So I have parts that have been ordered. I have parts that are on the way. We should be seeing a couple modifications coming to the car within the next week or so. So look forward to those videos. If you guys have anything that you that you have in mind that you'd like to see me make um, going forward, just comment down below. And if you have any questions, like I said, just let me know. Have a great day, guys.